I was just uh, having a debate with a friend of mine and we got stuck on the difference between fault and responsibility. She kept talking about how something was somebody's fault, it's somebody's fault. And I was like, it really, it don't matter whose fault it is that something is broken if it's your responsibility to fix it. For example, it's, it's not somebody's fault if their father was an abusive alcoholic but it's for damn sure their responsibility to figure out how they're gonna deal with those traumas and try to make a life out of it. It's not your fault if your partner cheated and ruined your marriage, but it is for damn sure your responsibility to figure out how to take that pain and how to overcome that and build a happy life for yourself. Fault and responsibility do not go together, it sucks, but they don't. When something is somebody's fault, we want them to suffer, we want them punished, we want them to, to pay, and we want it to be their responsibility to fix it, but that's, that's not how it works, especially when it's your heart. Your heart, your life, your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. There was uh, one thing I wanted to add also. I wanted to say there that taking responsibility, accepting responsibility is not an admission of guilt. Like you're not, you're not admitting that you're at fault. Taking responsibility is a recognition of the power that you seize when you stop blaming people. As long as we're pointing the finger and, and, and stuck in whose fault something is, we're jammed and trapped into victim mode. When you're in victim mode, you are stuck in suffering. The road to power is in taking responsibility. Your heart, your life, your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. It's not like you're letting somebody who wronged you off the hook. Like taking responsibility is an act of emotional self-defense. Taking responsibility is taking your power back.